Hey, Jill, tonight four teenage boys stabbed in the heart during a fight. 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson joins us live in Roseville tonight where friends and family are calling for an end to all of this violence. Curtis. That's right, Carolyn. A very small group here at Veterans Memorial Park, but they had a very big and important message tonight. To promote peace, the violence needs to stop. As 16-year-old Zach Storms fights for his life in a hospital, a small gathering of classmates, friends, and loved ones light candles in support of his recovery. Everybody being here just makes my heart nice and warm to know how many people care about him. It was on this spot Monday night that Zach nearly lost his life. Friends say the Roseville teen was stabbed in the chest during a fight that started when his girlfriend was insulted. Another teen is facing attempted murder charges for the attack. Two lives have changed drastically in a split second. In a split second, and if somebody would have just, you know, think before they act, maybe, you know, things would change. The attack raises concerns about violence among youth in Roseville. As a teen, are you worried about what you see? Yeah, I'm worried for my safety and my younger sibling's safety. You can't even come to the park anymore. The hope here tonight is that other teens will remember what happened and seek to avoid using violence to solve problems. Violence isn't the answer to solving problems. Um, the teenagers, everyone, they need to know that, that we're loved and we got to figure out a different way to solve our problems. Now, a close family friend says that Zach is in critical but stable condition tonight and is able to talk to family members. The young man accused of stabbing him is in custody and is being charged as a juvenile. Live in Roseville tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. Thank you.